Hello student. Now we are going to study geography paper first. That is 201 physical geography paper first. Lithosphere part second. Now we have to discuss about uh, unit number two. That is uh, work of a river. This unit consists of subtopics like mechanism of river erosion and deposition, then features associated with the work of river. Here we have to discuss about erosional features and depositional features. The erosional Landforms are to be studied like v shaped valley, gorge, rapids, waterfall, and potholes. And in the study of depositional landforms, we have to study meander, oxbow lake, flood plain, and levees, and delta. Now we have to discuss uh, about work of a river. Before studying the landforms associated with uh, the work, uh, erosional work of a river and depositional work of a river, it is also important to know what is a river. A river can be defined as mass of water moving under gravity downwards towards the mouth which may open into lake, sea or ocean. Then a river system. A river receives water from rainfall, snowfall, melting of ice, springs, lakes, surface runoff etc usually mountainous uh, areas receive more rainfall and hence the majority of rivers originate in mountainous areas the sheet of water flows down the slope in the form of rills which after uniting others form stream. These streams are then joined by other streams and tributaries. A number of streams to develop to join the stream at different points along its course. This main stream is known as a river and this strip together with its tributaries constitute a river system. The flow of water does not have a tributary or other branch is called first order stream. Second order streams are formed only by first order streams Third order streams are developed from second order streams. Thus, a river system develops over a region. Then, the drainage density. It is the ratio of uh, the total length of uh, all streams in a single river system to the area drained by that system. Then the drainage pattern, Jalapranali. Drainage pattern means arrangement of streams within a drainage basin. Streams flow through the structure of the earth surface and thus acquires various patterns. 
such as dendritic drainage pattern, trellis drainage pattern, radial drainage pattern, centripetal drainage pattern, rectangular drainage pattern, parallel drainage pattern, etc. The uh, dendritic uh, drainage pattern. Dendritic drainage pattern is like a tree. The main stream is like the trunk of a tree and its tributaries resemble the branches. This type of drainage pattern develops in an area where homogeneous rocks of uniform resistance occur. Then trellis drainage pattern. Trellis drainage pattern is rectilinear and is dependent on the internal geological structure of an area. Gently sloping beds of rocks of varying resistance and hardness produce this type of pattern. Then a radial drainage pattern. A radial drainage pattern is also known as centrifugal pattern. It is uh, formed by the streams which diverge from a central high, higher point in all directions. The radial drainage pattern occurs in areas of dome structure, means a dome shaped areas, table land, volcanic cones, and uh, isolated uplands. Various rivers radiating in various directions from the top of these uplands. For the example, Mount Abu is the example, one of the example of radial drainage pattern. Then, drainage pattern of a centripetal drainage pattern. Centripetal or inland drainage pattern is opposite to the radial drainage pattern because it is characterized by the streams which converge at a point which is generally a depression or a basin. The Kathmandu Valley of Nepal is uh, the example of centripetal drainage pattern. Then a uh, rectangular drainage pattern. In this uh, pattern, tributaries join their main stream almost at a right angle. This pattern develops where weakness of rocks, the weakness uh, is in the form of a false joints and fracture. Uh, the weakness of rocks are found. It is characterized by widely spaced tributaries. This pattern uh, is produced by such type of geological structure. Then parallel drainage pattern. It is formed where number of rivers which are parallel to each other and uh, follow the original slope. In this way, there are various drainage patterns. Then a river course. The path followed by a river is known as its course. The upper parts of a river are situated near its source. The lower parts near its mouth. A river is generally described as passing through successive stages of development from youth to maturity to older stage. 
तर नदीच्या ह्या अशा तीन अवस्था असतात युथ स्टेज मॅच्युअर स्टेज आणि ओल्ड ॲट ओल्ड स्टेज द रिव्हर परफॉर्म्स थ्री फोल्ड वर्क दॅट इज इरोजन ट्रान्सपोर्टेशन अँड डिपॉजिशन द अपर्स कोर्स कोर्स ऑफ ए रिव्हर दॅट इज द युथ स्टेज ऑफ रिव्हर दिस द मेजॉरिटी ऑफ रिव्हर्स ओरिजिनेट इन माउंटेनस एरियाज हेन्स दिस कोर्स लाईज इन हिली अँड माउंटेनस एरियाज देन मिडल कोर्स ऑफ रिव्हर मीन्स मॅच्युअर स्टेज ऑफ रिव्हर द मिडल कोर्स ऑफ ए रिव्हर बिगिन्स वेन रिव्हर लिव्स द हिल अँड माउंटन then lower course of a river the course of a river across the level plain up to mouth is known as its lower course in this way there are different stages of a river about the first stage that is the youth stage means upper course of river in this uh, course means in upper course the river is having a steep gradient slope but the volume of water is low the velocity of a river is high the river water flows speedily it has a corrosive power means the corrosive action is a uh, more powerful hence the river starts digging its own bed this uh, downward erosion is uh, known as channel or downward cutting then middle course of river that is the uh, that is in the mature state the uh, middle course of river begins when the river leaves the mountains and hills this is the best considered as being a transis, uh, transitional uh, transitional between the upper and lower courses in this course the rate of flow of water of a river is slow erosion is not so rapid but the river bed is still being lowered by the grinding action of stones then the lower course of river and it is the older stage of river in the lower course the main work of river is uh, deposition of a material the lower course of river begins when it leaves the middle course or enters the plain areas up to the, its mouth the characteristics of river in this uh, course of a river are the river flows with a large volume of water which receives from many tributaries then the river is wide and the slope of a river is very gentle the velocity of water is very low the decrease in a river velocity reduces the transporting power of a river hence the deposit uh, it deposits the load on its bed the transportation of load is decreased and results the raising of a river bed this process is known as upgradation then lateral cutting by the river is observed uh, observed but downward cutting is not observed means a downward cutting is a about stop in this way there are different stages of a river then the mechanism of river erosion and deposition erosional work of river consists of 
the different actions through which mechanical work is uh, of river is carried out the actions uh, are hydraulic action abrasion action attrition and solution the first one is hydraulic action due to continuous flow of water rocks are broken down into smaller fragments and these fragments of rocks are thrown onward this erosional action of a river is known as hydraulic action then abrasion action the river bed is sculptured by the rock fragment this action is known as abrasion action then attrition which is sunni garshan the fragmented particles of rock when transported by river collide on each other collide on each other hence they are broken up into smaller particles this action of river is known as attrition then solution rock minerals and uh, rock themselves are dissolved in the river water they are dissolved in a river water because water is a weak acid it involves number of chemical solvents from the atmosphere during the rainfall chemical reactions take place between rock minerals and river water hence rocks become loose and break down easily due to solution then mechanism of a river deposition deposition is a geological process in which sediments soils and rocks are added to form a landform to added to a land, uh, to a landform wind ice water and gravity transport previously weathered surface material which at the loss of enough kinetic energy in the fluid is deposited and building up a layer of sediment in this way the work of deposition is carried out about the mechanism of river erosion there are deep, uh, various actions like uh, hydraulic abrasion attrition solution and uh, these actions are carried out in uh, carried out in different courses uh, of a river and uh, there are upper middle and lower course or uh, courses the work of river during different stages means uh, in the uh, different courses are like uh, in the upper course of river erosion transportation and downward cutting is a dominant in the middle course of river transportation and deposition is uh, carried out they and uh, in older stage deposition of load is uh, there is a deposition of a material which is transported by a river from the upper courses and middle courses is uh, being continued in this way there is a mechanism uh, there, there is a mechanism of river erosion and also river uh, deposition next part will be continued during the next period thank you